In this video, we are going to talk about body positivity. We're going to theorize it just a little. So what is it? I did a little bit of research, and according to the very well mind, body positivity refers to the assertion that all people deserve to have a positive body image, regardless of how society and popular culture view ideal shape, size, and appearance. Some of the goals of the body positivity movement include challenging how society views the body, promoting the acceptance of all bodies. In another study published on JSTO by C. LeBouf, what is body positivity? The path from shame to pride. According to this author, body positivity refers to the movement to accept our bodies regardless of size, shape, skin tone, gender, and physical ability. So why am I talking about body positivity? Because some people hate it. And as I said in a previous video, I don't think anybody is wrong. I don't think persons who are promoting body positivity are wrong. And I don't think those who are objecting body positivity are wrong. But there is like this real, really expansive uproar about body positivity. Some persons promoting it are stating that we need to love our bodies no matter what it looks like. So I could eat this big bag of Cheetos from Walmart and no one can stop me. And then persons on the other side are saying, but you're fat. You're obese. Look at you. Look at how you look. No man will want you. The challenge is that society has taught us the wrong concept of body positivity. Or let me rephrase that. The wrong concept of the body. We are talking about from shame to pride, yes? But your body is not an item. Your body is not an achievement. Your body is not a goal. Modern society has created this image of the body, not image in terms of size, shape, skin tone, gender, etc. You know, but what is the purpose of the body? We have forgotten after all these millions of years of being on this earth, what is the purpose of our body? It is not to make us feel better through sex, through eating junk food. Oh, the purpose of our body is to serve as a temple for our soul. And we have forgotten that. And that is the theory that I have today. The society, societal view of our body in any instance is off. When you think of your body as a temple and you think of your soul as something that needs to be somewhere that is pure and clean, for example, if you are in a workspace and those persons every day they are telling you that you are the biggest loser out here, you are going to want to leave because there is a part of your soul that cannot take it. And there's a part of your body and you'll see your body exhibiting uh, symptoms of stress because of that environment. Think of your soul by itself, without the body, being in a place like that. And it happens to be your body. <laughs> in a place where it cannot thrive. In a place where you cannot see reality as it is because sugar and is fogging up your mind and salt is raising your blood pressure beyond what it should be. The concept of what a temple is, 
should be explored. And let's explore that just a little bit, just a little bit. A temple is defined as a building for religious worship, especially in religions other than Christianity. The funny thing is that Oxford definition excludes Christianity, but in Christianity, according to, to Corinthians, there is an actual scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 19 to 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought as a price. So glorify God in your body. Now, a lot of Christians use that for talking about sexual immorality. That's not what we're talking about here. This could be applied to anything. No matter what you believe, no matter what you believe, your body was a vessel selected and made to house your soul. So if it was selected and made to house your soul, what does that mean? It means that you must love it. It means that you must take care of it. It means that you must nurture it. And that means doing the best for your body. Now, what does it mean doing the best for your body? It does not necessarily mean going on a diet. I am not telling anybody to get skinny as a stick or get stick skinny as a, as a, as a telephone pole at all. What I am saying is, uh, the dis think about the decisions that you are making when you choose to eat certain things. Is, is it best for your body or uh, is your body screaming? Is your soul screaming? This is not good for me. If I eat this cheese and I know I am dairy <laughs> intolerant and I know that I will be in the restroom for hours at a time and you choose to eat that aren't you committing a sin against yourself and sin here is not it is not about God sin is about doing something that goes against what you know is right you can sin against a person you can sin against yourself so are you making a decision when it comes to your body that your body is telling you not to do do you know that your mother died from a certain disease and that if she had avoided food x food y food z she would have lived and she even told you that but you still chose to continue to eat in such a way then you are sinning against yourself and in the same breath if you love doritos and you see no and you hear nothing no spirit speaking to you yourself doesn't feel ill you don't feel ill after and you think that you could survive then that is a choice that you could make but if you hear that what i'm saying is that if you hear that voice and you know to yourself that this is wrong then why do it why go on tiktok and wail at everyone else for judging you i am not about hating yourself if you are naturally inclined to being at a certain weight then fine but know that those are choices they are choices that are being made that could have improved your health and today you mightn't see it and tomorrow you mightn't see it and next 10 years you mightn't see it but why wait until it's too late to make that difference why wait until it's too late again i'm saying it again i am not for diets i am for loving yourself the best way you know how i am for moderation I love chips. I love KFC, but a KFC every night isn't isn't loving yourself. Your we treat food as again 
We have the wrong conceptualization of things in this modern world. We have the wrong conceptualization of what your body is, which is our temple. And we have the wrong conceptualization of what food is. Food is fuel. It is not a crutch to feel better about your crappy day. It is not a crutch for you to forget about how your husband is treating you. If you find yourself craving something after an event, your food is now not a fuel, but a crutch. Food can be a method of addiction. A way of easing the pain that is inside of you. And what I would say to that is go and see a therapist. Don't treat your body as if it is a trash can. Treat your body as if it's a temple. Click the notification button to keep up, like and subscribe so you can hear more theories. Bye.